This is the Plot P626D Evidence. Hi, I'm Nigel from SMC Motorhomes, and today here we are at the stunning Autumn Waters campsite in this glorious sunshine to have a look around this plot P626D. It is the evidence model, which is a special edition from Pilot. So it comes as it stands with automatic gearbox, imitation lever interior. You've got sat nav on there, plus lots of other things. But let's have a look around some of the specifications to start with. It's built on the Fiat chassis. It's three and a half ton with around about 600 kilos of payload. It's a 140 brake horsepower engine with the nine speed gearbox. The van is 6.2 meters long, 2.88 meters high and 2.3 meters wide. We have a water tank on there of 130 litres and a wastewater tank of 90 litres. Also in the van you get included a 90 amp hour battery and a 120 watt solar panel. So now let's have a look around the outside. We've got the really nice Fiat alloy wheels on this one. Moving down, habitation door, there's a fly screen on there, an electric step and it is central locking. Moving back, toilet cassette service area and then the storage area on this van. We've got lots of nice storage in here. Height in there is 78 centimetres and it will take up to 1,250 litres of luggage. Moving around the back of the van, we have got fridge vent grills because we have got the freeway fridge on this van. Up above, we've got the reverse camera. Coming around to the other side, the door on this side is 45 centimetres by 78 centimetres high, goes into your gas locker. Moving down this side, we've then got this really useful slide out the storage locker. You can put up to 70 kilograms in there, so it's ideal for all of your cables, your chocks and your hose pipe. There's also a three meter awning as standard on this vehicle. So come on inside and let's have a look at some of the features on this van. Up here in the cab area, we've got the two seats that turn around so you can face the dining area. We've then got a really nice skylight above, which gives you lots of light in here, but it is also shaded so you don't get too hot. Looking at the cab, we've got the lever steering wheel with all of the multifunction controls on. We've then got an electric handbrake on this vehicle, the automatic gearbox, and then the Pioneer infotainment unit, which does come with GPS. Looking round on this van, we've also got four berth and four belts fitted, so it is a true four berth vehicle. So now let's move back and take a look into the lounge area. In the dining area, we've got really comfy seating for up to seven people, which is an amazing amount of space for a 6.2 metre van. We've got the table which folds, it does slide and it does also open out to make a large table to cover the entire seating group. Another feature with this table is it does go down to make a bed in this area for your fourth berth. The bed in this area is one to five centimetres wide by 200 centimetres long. Also here we've got a travel seat front and back and then under the seating we've got your battery box on this side with all of your fuses and electrical controls, eater and frost protection valve under this side. And then on the side facing me, we've got your fresh water tank. So you can get into the tank under there to clean it. We've also got a small latch in the floor here, which gets you into your waste tank when you want to flush that through. So moving back from the seating area, as you can see, very spacious van. There's lots of room all around us. 
and then looking around we have got TV bracket up here, it'll take up to a 19 inch TV. We've then got your control panels, so you've got your main panel there, your Truma which is a 6EH eating system, bed control, light switches and your electric step. We also have a fly screen on the habitation door, so like today we can have the fly screen across, lots of fresh air coming in but no bugs getting in here. Now if we move back again we come into the kitchen area. In this van we have got a 240 volt socket there, a USB socket and a USB-C socket there. Also under here you'll notice there's another 240 volt socket. We can get a microwave into that cupboard. So you can have that with a nicely fitted microwave in. Up above we've got into our storage, big storage area there and then another small cupboard above the kitchen. We've got a two burner gas hob and then to the side stainless steel sink, lots of work top on here and then little small secluded storage spaces like that one there. Cuttlery drawer at the top and then a large drawer underneath. This van is fitted with an oven grill as standard and then we've got a pan drawer under that. Also in this area we've got another panel in the floor which is more storage. Now let's take a look at the shower facilities in the van. So in the shower and toilet area we've got a privacy screen there so you can pull that across so you could use the entire area if you wish to. We've then got the toilet to the right there and the sink here. We've got storage underneath the sink and then a large storage cupboard there as well. When we open the timbre door we've also got more storage behind that which we'll show you. When it comes to shower time it's got a very clever design this van. We have a swing wall which comes around saving everything getting wet when you're taking your shower. We've also got the shower tray in the bottom which you can take out as you're having your shower. Up above we've got a nice little skylight so you can get lots of fresh air through there as well so we don't get steam around the van. Here at the rear of the van we've got our wardrobe space and some shelving space. Again for the size of the vehicle there's an awful lot of space in there for hanging clothes. We've also then got the fridge at the side of that which is a 78 litre fridge. Now let's have a look at the bed on this vehicle. So we do have a bottom bed which you make up by pushing the table down and using the extra cushions that come with the vehicle to make it up. But let's take a look at the electric bed. Thank you very much for watching our video on this pilot. And just for the people I spoke to at the Newark show, we are now putting the description with the price in the bottom. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe to our channel and also as always we do welcome comments on the vehicle and we will now see you in our next video.